Today we are going to learn to enable the data analysis feature on Excel and then to use one of its functions. We need an Excel file with some data. Open the Internet Use Data Excel file found on Course Compass. Now that we're there, we want to come to the upper left hand side and click on the Office button. Down the bottom of that menu, you will see Excel Options. On the right hand side, you'll see Add ins. Click on Add ins. Now back to the bottom, and on the bottom, you'll see Manage Excel Add ins. Click Go. Now you want to put a check in the box next to Analysis Tool Pack and Analysis Tool Pack VBA and say OK. Once you've done that, come to the Data tab, and all the way on the right, you'll see Data Analysis. Click on that. This will bring you up a dialog box. You want to choose Descriptive Statistics and say OK. The input range is your data, so highlight your data. We want to choose Next Output Range. Click in the box, the circle next to Output Range. Notice that that puts the cursor back in Input Range. We don't want to wipe out the data we just put in, so make sure you click in the box and now choose where you want to put your output. I'm going to choose cell B1. Check the box that says Summary Statistics and say OK. Now we've generated lots and lots of statistics and we can't see the title so we want to widen the column so that we can see what we have there. Put your cursor between B and C on the top row. Double click. Notice that Excel automatically creates the correct column width to display those names. Next, we're going to format the cells to the correct number of decimal places. The mean should be formatted to one decimal place, so click on that cell, right click, and go to Format Cells. Choose Number. Notice that the default is two decimal places. We only want one, so we're going to use our down arrow to make it one decimal place. Say OK. We're not interested in the standard error right now, so I'm just going to go to the Home ribbon and delete that. The median and the mode are already formatted to the correct number of decimal places, so now we will reformat the standard deviation and the variance. Notice that that's the sample variance, it's also the sample standard deviation. Highlight them both, right click, back to Format Cells, choose Number. 2 is the default, that's what we want this time, so we can just say OK. Kurtosis and skewness we can delete. Some, not interested, we can delete that. I am going to retitle this as Descriptive Statistics. And we're done.